Hello Capricorn, this is your reading for the 15th to the 31st. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Thank you guys for coming to support. If you're new, welcome. <clears throat> Please like, share, subscribe if um, you guys feel so compelled to. Let's see, what's going on around the Capricorns? Nine of Pentacles, could be a Virgo. But this is all about feeling, I'm feeling like a lot of you are probably in relationships, but feeling like you're not. Um, feeling like you're by yourself, kind of like single, even though you're with someone. Um, not a feeling of contentment I, I'm getting here. This is crossing you. Seven of Wands. Somebody, I'm feeling that this person, whoever you're thinking about, you feel like they're closed off to you. Like they're not opening up. Um, kind of blocked communication. Um, not giving you the attention that I feel like you guys are needing here. Not like you are just an attention seeker, but um, just feeling alone in a relationship, I feel, for a lot of you. If you're not with this person, um, you guys are not enjoying yourselves right now, I feel. Maybe this person has blocked you and you feel like they're not looking back. But we'll... Mm, yeah. Your emotions, I feel, are all over the place. Um, there's a lot that you don't know. There's a lot of deep feelings that you um, have right now. I feel like this is shared, though. I don't think that this person doesn't care. I think they're hurting as well. Maybe they get defensive and it doesn't feel like they care. It feels like they don't. But I think that's their defense mechanism, to be honest with you. I think there's a lot that you guys are not discussing. You know, you just kind of in your separate corners in feeling and thinking how you feel and think, you know? Let's see. Marisa passed here. <coughs> Excuse me. The Emperor. <coughs> Aries energy there. You have Aries, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Virgo energy. Um. I feel in the past, in the recent past, this person has been kind of stoic, um, is, does not take into account what it is that you feel, what you want to do. It's almost like they're, um, they dismiss you a whole lot and you feel alone. You know, this person really doesn't see um, their own faults or what they're doing. Let's see. My crowning thoughts. That one went flip, so I'm going to take that. <sighs> you just want to get along. You want for this relationship to move forward. Um, you guys to move forward. Continue moving forward and not stay stagnant. Not stay complacent. Um, not shut each other out. You want to move forward. You want to have a happy life, happy family, happy relationship. Again, cancer energy. The underlying issue is cancer energy. The feeling of support, um, home, happiness, being there for one another. So that is the main focal point here is you guys feeling like you're in a relationship by yourself or you were in a relationship by yourself let's see what's coming in for you guys here it's coming in for a capricorn three of wands aries energy hmm what what i'm getting is that Both of you are kind of viewing this situation the same way, honestly. 
this person feels like they've done like they are the ones that always initiates things always try um, to make things happen to make things better this person I feel is waiting on you to to make a move to show some excitement to show you know show them something because they feel like you know all the burden has been on them to, to carry this relationship so there's like both of you are kind of feeling the same way in this situation let's see how is Capricorn viewing this situation okay this is the five of swords and you're always fighting you can't get along like both of you are in your separate corners um, vying for your own interests not the interests of the relationship a lot of conflict a lot of arguing um, some this person's always like trying to one-up you hmm what is the influence for Capricorn here strength I feel there's something that um, that you're holding yourself back from and maybe it is really opening up and telling this person how you feel what you need what you want like I mean really opening up for fear that it's going to start an argument because you guys are not seeing eye to eye. This person always says hurtful things to you to get you to back off from getting a, um, you know, a clear um, explanation for why things are the way that they are between the two of you. So at this point, it's almost like you feel like, what's the point? What's the point? Let's see what your hopes or fears are. Your hopes or fears. Eight of Swords. That you'll be stuck. You'll be stuck in all of these um, anxious thoughts, all of this... Um, manipulation, constant arguing, constant battles, somebody constantly bringing up things that happened in the past. Maybe there were some things that, that happened in the past that, that are constantly getting thrown up in your face. And uh, your fear is continuing in this like vicious cycle of what I'm feeling like it's almost um, mental abuse. For some of you, you feel trapped. Your fear is that you will remain trapped, like you see no way out. Whew. What's the overall outcome for Capricorn? The High Priestess. This is using your intuition. But this is also remaining quiet, not really engaging someone else, not bringing somebody else in on what it is that you are actually feeling and thinking, um, just kind of keeping things to yourself. Just keeping things to yourself. Um, I don't see a lot of movement other than the fact that um, both of you feel truly burdened by this relationship what's been going on between the two of you and you know I think both of you are waiting on the other one to really show that they want to be in this connection um, but I don't, I don't get that there's a lot of open communication going on between the two of you so we have Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, Leo, Aries 
um, Aquarius Virgo energy is here and um, that's what I have for you guys for the remainder of the month and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.